The Trump supporting CEO of MyPillow, Mike Lindell, appeared on Newsmax TV to talk about how he was banned from Twitter. I'm assuming he was planning to complain about how he's being censored and this is cancel culture. Uh, but the interview itself came to a screeching halt when he said something that prompted the anchors to stop the interview because they were worried that this guy was going to get them sued. So they basically had to read what appeared to be a legal statement from Newsmax TV and hilarity ensued. Uh, take a look. I don't want to say much more about this because I don't want to spoil it, but this was absolutely golden. So well, what happened? What, what happened with your Twitter account and the uh, company page? Well, first, mine was taken down because we have all the election fraud with these Dominion machines. We have 100 percent proof. And then I when they took it down um, uh, about my, three weeks my, ago, I, and then when I put it back up, my personal, I put a, it was a Mike, thing about uh, my thank you very much. Mike, Mike, I, you're talking about machines uh, that, that we at Newsmax have not been able to verify any of uh, yeah, okay. those you kinds of allegations. What? We um, just want to let people know probably, that there's I'm nothing not substantive that we've right. seen. And let me read you something there. Yeah, While yeah, there yeah, were yeah, some clear yeah, evidence yeah, of yeah, some yeah, cases yeah, of vote yeah, fraud yeah, and election yeah, irregularities, the election results in every state were certified and Newsmax accepts the results as legal and final. The courts have also supported that view. So right. we so, wanted so to talk just, to you about please, canceling you suppress, culture, you if you will. Me. We don't want to relitigate the, like the, the wait, wait, uh, wait, allegations wait, wait, that you're wait. making, I'm, Mike, because I'm, we, I'm we, finding, we understand where you are. So let me ask you this. Do you think Twitter that this should be so temporary so because it appears to be permanent? Could you make an argument that it is temporary? What? <laughs> could you make an argument that this could be a temporary banning rather than permanent? No, I want it to be a permanent because you know what? They did this because I'm revealing all the evidence on Friday of all the election fraud with these machines. So I'm sorry if you okay. think it's not uh, Mike, it's real. I, I, can I ask our producers, can we uh, get out of here, please? Uh, I, I don't want to have to keep going over this. Actually, we at Newsmax Mike, have not been able wait, to verify any of those allegations. Wait, that you're, you're, Mike, okay. hold on you a second. Everybody hold on a second. Mike, Mike, hold on one second. Uh, let's talk a little bit about just what is happening overall in terms of censorship. Of Frank cancel out my company and myself okay. in this country. It's cancel culture. They're wow. I mean, I don't know what they expected because... Mike Lindell has kind of proven that he is a deranged lunatic, and he was banned from Twitter specifically because he was spreading misinformation about the election. So did you not expect him to bring up Dominion? Because I felt like if you were going to invite him on your program, that would be part of the conversation. But the reason why, for those of you who don't know, Newsmax was really worried about what he was saying there and they had to stop him was because... They don't want to be sued. In fact, after they were spreading misinformation about the election and defaming Dominion, well, they threatened them with a lawsuit. So they had to basically come out with this apology and statement saying that there's no evidence that Dominion was involved in flipping the votes. It was this big thing. So they're trying to move past that. And then they bring on this jackass who's claiming that Dominion was part of the effort that led to the election being stolen, which there's no evidence for. But they literally had no choice. Like legally, they were obligated to stop him and read that legal statement. It was just it was hilarious. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, invite lunatics on your program. Don't be surprised when they say things that are so crazy that you're going to be worrying whether or not you'll be sued. And I love the plot twist in that segment. I don't know if you caught it, but when uh, the anchor tried to change the subject back to Twitter and asked him, so do you think that you can make the case that your Twitter ban should be, you know, temporary instead of permanent? The CEO, Mike Lindell, says, no, I want it to be permanent. Well, then why are you complaining? If they literally gave you exactly what you wanted, what's the problem? <laughs> like, you, you, you say that you've been banned and this is bad, but yet you want the ban to be permanent. Now, I don't know what he was trying to say. Like, maybe the point was that, well, I want to be permanently banned because this just proves that the left supports cancel culture and they want to censor conservatives. Maybe that was the point. But overall, the way that he was trying to make his case as to why Twitter banning him was bad, but yet he wants the ban to be permanent. Like, it's just, it's incoherent. Like, I don't get what the overall message is. And 
for whatever reason, right wingers have become so accustomed to like playing the victims that now whenever they're banned from like Twitter or Facebook or whatever, they conflate that to their free speech rights being violated. You know how like we have the First Amendment and the government isn't supposed to censor us. Well, now if a private company like Twitter banned you, that apparently is tantamount to your free speech being violated. This is why they need to teach civics in high school, because nobody knows the meanings of the political terms that they use. And we just need to, like, get a little refresher because um, that doesn't mean your free speech was violated. Now, uh, you know, there's the conversation that we all should be having about how these Silicon Valley tech companies have way too much power and they need to be uh, reined in. We need to regulate them more. We need to use antitrust laws to break them up, nationalize them if need be, regulate them as public utilities. That's a legitimate conversation. But what Republicans like to do, Donald Trump, Mike Lindell, is they'll get banned after they have had repeated warnings and then they play the victim immediately. Like Donald Trump, people forget this. He wasn't just bad immediately when he started to spread misinformation um, about the election, which ultimately led to the Capitol insurrection that culminated in, you know, him getting banned from Twitter. Um, every single tweet almost that he made after the election was a lie. And Twitter flagged all of them. So it wasn't until like a month or so later when there was actually violence as a result of his lies that they took any action like and and so it's shocking to me that folks defend individuals like Mike Lindell and Donald Trump when normal folks get banned all the time from Twitter and nobody makes a peep about that but the minute it's like this right winger who literally incites violence and Mike Lindell is part of that too if you're lying about the election that led to people thinking that they needed to storm the Capitol to save democracy you're part of that as well but like that's that's when people like choose to die on this hill no i'm i'm pro free speech so we literally should allow people who incite riots to have access to a twitter account like it's weird to me but it's funny that like this dude was going on there he was gonna play the victim and newsmax thought they had this easy segment where you know we'll just bring this idiot on he'll talk about cancel culture and how the left wants to censor conservatives but they uh they got something that they did not bargain for they got him saying something that would almost get them sued and so now I really want to see more conservatives go on uh, Newsmax TV and mention Dominion. So that way they have that uh, little scrambling session where they try to like stop them. And um, it gets to a point where they just leave because they don't want to be involved. They don't want to be personally, legally accountable. I love this. <laughs> Every second of that was golden.